During the War of 1812, Winfield Scott's first action was at the Battle of Queenston Heights, where he commanded an American landing party. Unfortunately, the Americans were forced to surrender, and Scott was a prisoner of war until 1813. After his release, he led the attack that captured Fort George, suffering a wound in the process. The next year, he was promoted to Brigadier General at the age of 27 and fought at the battles of Chippewa and Lundy's Lane. During this time, he earned his nickname Old Fuss and Feathers for his insistence on military discipline and appearance. Following the War of 1812, Scott helped the drill regulations for the Army, held command during the Indian Wars in the West, and oversaw the infamous Cherokee removal. Scott would assume office as Commanding General of the United States Army, its most senior position, and was promoted to Major General. In this role, he led American forces in Mexico during the Mexican-American War. Twenty years after his appointment as commanding general at the outbreak of the Civil War, Scott still retained his command even though he was 74 and in poor health. Feeling the pressure from the government and other members of the military, Scott resigned in November of 1861. When he retired from the Army in November 1861, Scott had been a general longer than his successor George McClellan had been alive. Lieutenant General Winfield Scott died on May 29, 1866 at the age of 79. His military career spanned 53 years, 47 of which as a general, and three major wars.